color grading changes everything. Change the color, change the mood. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily create color grades inside of Photoshop using gradient maps. Hey, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com and today we're going to do an updated video on how to use gradient maps to color grade. Now, I already kind of did a short and then I got some comments in there from people saying, hey, your color grading one is out of date, so this is an updated one. Let's get started right now. Okay, so here's a photograph and we're just going to go ahead and create the color grade right now. So what we want to do is in the layers, we go down to the adjustment layers. Under adjustment layers, you're going to see gradient map. So you don't want to use a gradient at the top. Make sure we use the gradient map further down. And then immediately your photo is going to change. So the one that's being used right now, I can see is the default. So if we click up on here in the properties, you'll see that it's applying this one. As I click different ones, you're going to get different looks. Okay. Let me explain how this works. First of all, we'll go under the blues and we'll tap on a blue here. If we look at this gradient map, and this is not the final result, obviously. Notice what it does, though, is there's a gradient on the left. We can see it's blue. On the right, it's white. What it does is think of this as a black to white. In fact, if I hit black and white there, we can see it. And it's mapping those tones. So the darker tones get the color on the left. The lighter tones get the color on the right. So if we hit the blues, notice we're getting it there in the blues. Now, obviously, we need to make this look better. So here's a simple trick. What we do is go under the layer where it says normal click. This is the layer blending mode. And what we want to do now is we just want to change this to color mode. So if we go all the way down by the bottom, you'll see color. And once we're in color blending mode, what it does is it preserves all the shades or the luminosity and it changes the color. Now, we don't want to turn it to a monochrome, although you could. If, you, if that's the look you're going for, that works. But what we're going to do is we're going to take the opacity all the way to zero. There's the original, and now we're just going to bring it in and dial it in until it looks nice. So if we look at this before and after, you can see that it now looks much more cinematic. But there's a lot more we can do with that, and we're going to jump into it right now. And by the way, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, and you'll get a new tutorial from me every week. If you're getting any value out of this, smash the like button. All right, let's continue. Now, there's a whole bunch of different colors that are available inside the gradients panel inside of Photoshop 2021. So if we choose window and then we go down to gradients, notice that we have a panel. I'm going to move it to the side and we've got a number of different colors. In fact, if we click on this little arrow here on the properties, notice that these match. But Photoshop comes with an entire library of colors, and I'll show you how to access those. In the gradients panel, go to the top right and click. You'll notice this will appear. Go down to where it says Legacy Gradients. Now, when I do that, notice you can see now Legacy Gradients have been added. And if we twirl that open, we've got all kinds. So these are the original gradients that used to come with Photoshop. You know, we can kind of click on these and we can see how they start to affect the image. Now, this is just applying a gradient over the top. We're going to apply this as a gradient map in a second. Notice that the gradient being applied just applies it in position versus the gradient map. This is the red and green. Watch what happens if we get rid of that gradient fill. We choose the gradient map layer again and pop open our panel. Notice legacy gradients are there. So you control them in the gradients panel. This is where you load them and then they're going to be available in properties. So we're going to choose the gradients. And now if you're in the properties, make sure, of course, that you're selecting the gradient map layer. Otherwise, the property will change to something else. All right, so let's go back here with this open. Let's go down and look at the default legacy, same ones. And now we look at the red and green. Notice how this looks completely different than just applying a gradient. We apply a gradient, it just goes across the image. 
now it's mapping to the tones. So what we're seeing is the greens in the highlights and the reds in the shadows. If we click on the gradient, we can reverse it. And if we click the reverse button, now we see the greens in the shadows and the reds in the highlights. Definitely looks a lot better. But let's go further. There's an even better set here. If we go down in there, you can see this photographic toning. I'm just showing you there in a gradient panel. Let me collapse it. In our gradient map, we just simply click and open our properties. Let's go down to these photographic toning. And I'll just move this to the side a little bit so we can get out of the way. And look at these. As I click in these, these just give these beautiful, rich tones. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? So as you can see, this just gives us this beautiful high-end look right away, right off the bat. So let me know in the comments if you learned anything new in this video. And also, what's your favorite color combination? Let us know. And if you guys are new, welcome to Photoshop Cafe. Great to have you with us. All you got to do is just hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and then you become part of the Cafe crew, and you'll get a new tutorial. Blah, and you'll get a new tutorial from me every single week. So, all right, guys, if you like this, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.